Speak. Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a funnel chart using Power BI. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create a power, how to create a funnel chart using Power BI, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Firstly, as you can see here, this is the interface of Power BI. This is what is called as the report canvas. To the right hand side, you can see three different panes. One is called as the filters pane. The second one is what is called as the visualization pane. And the third one is what is called as the fields pane. Let me go ahead and expand the fields pane. I've already loaded a data set which is called as sample superstore data set. I will be expanding this particular data set. Once I click on the arrow, what you're seeing is all the variables that are present in this particular data set are displayed. There are different fields like discount, profit, quantity, region, row ID, sales, and subcategory. I'm going to use the last two variables, namely sales and subcategory, to construct a funnel chart. You can see what is called as the visualization pane here. Let me go ahead and expand the visualization pane. There are different icons for each and every chart. In the third row, from the left, the second option is funnel chart. I'm going to go ahead and click on the funnel chart. The moment I click on the funnel chart, you can see here in the left side, there, there is a representation of funnel chart that Power BI creates. I'm going to go ahead and expand this particular window. Now, you're set to create your first funnel chart in Power BI. All that you need to do is make a selection of the variables. You can choose any two variables. I'm going to choose the variable subcategory. Once I choose this, I'm going to drag this and drop it into the window on the left hand side. Let me scroll this to the left side. This is the first thing that you need to do. The second thing that you need to do is select the variable sales, drag and drop, drop this variable into the window onto the left side. Once you do this, your basic funnel chart is ready. Let me go ahead and expand this particular window. What does this funnel chart tell me? There are different categories in the variable subcategory like phones, chairs, storage, table, binders, so on and so forth. The value of sales is being displayed here. You can also see here, there's a big bar corresponding to the first subcategory, namely phones. And there's a very tiny bar corresponding to fasteners. There's a simple thumb rule to interpret the funnel chart. That is bigger the bar, larger the value corresponding to phones. Since phones accounts for the highest value of sales, you can see here that particular category has the largest bar followed by chairs storage fasteners has a very very small value at small value for sales and therefore there is a very short bar small bar corresponding to fasteners this is called as a funnel chart simply because it looks like a funnel now this is sufficient if you want to create a basic funnel chart in case you want to do some additional formatting how do you do some additional formatting to format the funnel chart, you can go ahead and choose the option format your visual. Let me click on this option format your visual. You can see here there are two options. One is visual formatting. The second one is general formatting. I'll choose the general formatting. Here you have different items like properties, title, effects, so on and so forth. I will choose the option title. Why? Because I want to change the formatting of the title. Let me click on the option title. The default text that Power BI creates is sum of sales by subcategory. I want to change this slightly. I'm going to say total sales by subcategory. The moment I make a modification here, now you can see the new title is total sales by subcategory. Further, you can increase the font size of the title. Right now it is 14. I can go ahead and change this to 90. Let me click on the scroll. Let me 
click on the scroll bar. The text color, if you want, you can choose a different color for the text. The background color can also be changed here. Let me click on the option background color. You can choose a different color as far as the background is concerned. I'm also going to go ahead and change the text color to white. I'm not happy with the alignment of the title. So what I'm going to do is under this particular option called as horizontal alignment, I'm going to make this center aligned. So this is how you can increase the font size or decrease the font size. You can choose a different background color. You can also change the color of the title. Once you choose this, the next option that you have is what is called as visual formatting. Under this, you have four different options. What is called as colors, data labels, category labels, conversion rate. The colors, as the name itself suggests, helps you change the color. Right now, we have a blue color. In case you want to change the color, you can click on the drop down menu and from the range of options, you can choose any other color. I'm going to leave this at the default option. There's also another option called as show all. Right now it is in the off mode. I can go ahead and change this to the on mode. Just in case you want to display different colors for each of the subcategories, you can go to that particular subcategory and change the color. For example, let's say for chairs, you want to change the color. Please click on the drop down menu. And from the range of options, you can choose any other color. Again, I'm not going to change any of the colors for the categories. Let me remove the expand button here. The next thing that I want to do is data labels. Let me go ahead and expand the data labels. Right now, the position as far as the data label is outside the bar. Now, in case you want to, you can click on the drop down menu. You have two different options here. One is outside end. The second one is inside center. I'll choose inside center. You can also change the label contents. I'm not going to tinker with that. I'll leave it with the default option of data value. Let me remove this particular option and go to values. I would like to change the color of the text. Currently, it is in black color. I'm going to change this to white. Let me click on the drop down menu and choose the option white. You might feel that it has disappeared and you're not able to appreciate the changes that we've made so far. That's because right now I have not taken this into the focus mode. Let me remove the expand button here and then take this to the focus mode. You can see here, this option is the focus mode. The moment I click on the focus mode, you will be able to appreciate the changes that we have made for the funnel chart. You can see here, the values have a different color now. These are the different subcategories. Now, in case you want to do some additional calculations, in case you want to make some changes and do some mathematical analysis, you can convert and export the data into Excel. Right now it's the focus mode. I can go back to the report mode here. You see three different options here. This is the filters option. This is the focus mode, which we have seen. You can see here, there are three dots, which represents more option. I can click on this. In case you want to export the data of the funnel chart as let's say a Excel. You can choose the very first option here, which reads export data. I'm going to go ahead and choose the option export data. I'm going to save the file in desktop. So the title of the file is total sales by subcategory. I can choose the option save here. Total sales by subcategory already exists. Do you want to replace it? No, I'll just give a different name here. I'll just call this as V2 version 2. Let me go ahead and click on the option save. Now, to access the file, I'm going to go to desktop. You can see here, there's an Excel file which says 
total sales by subcategory. Once I click on this particular Excel file, you will be able to see the output of the funnel chart. You have the different subcategories here. You also have the total sales corresponding to each and every subcategory. This is very, very useful because once you export this into Excel, suppose you want to do some advanced analysis or you want to apply conditional formatting in Excel, you can do this. I'll come back to Tableau. So this is how you can create a funnel chart, do some formatting, both visual formatting as well as you can do general formatting. With this, I have come to the end of today's video. I thank you very much for watching this particular video. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.